Scouter Stan. Let's talk about what's in it for adult leaders. It can be very trying out there. I know. I hear a lot of leaders being frustrated by a lot of things. And after all, this is a volunteer job. But always keep this in mind. Yes, it is a volunteer job, but we are changing the world. Helping young people change for the good for tomorrow. Always keep in mind, the mission of the Boy Scouts of America is to prepare young people to make ethical and moral choices over their lifetime by installing in them the values of the Scout Oath and Law. That mission statement alone tells us our entire goal. We need to keep them safe. That keeps them happy, keeps them active, and they can actually learn how to use the Scout Oath and Scout Law in leadership. That's big. It's huge. I like to say that we're changing the world one scout at a time. We as scout leaders get to witness. We have these opportunities to actually witness the installing of scouting values. We see it when the SPL starts running the troop meeting, the unit pulling together for a common goal, actually using the EDGE method without even thinking about it. A lot of them start using the scout oath and the scout law without even realizing it. They start incorporating the scout law into their daily lives and make real changes. Scouting makes better people. It makes great leaders. And it makes responsible adult citizens for the future. Now, adult leaders get all kinds of benefits out of this. They see those scout values and they start incorporating them themselves. Many adult leaders were not scouts as youth. And this is a great opportunity for them to incorporate scouting values into their own lives. A trained leader is a better citizen in their community. After all, they're helping youth in their community. Now, most of the training has real world benefits for employers and employees. I'm constantly saying, be the example, not the exception. As scout leaders, we often think of ourselves as planting acorns. Now, that sounds a little strange until you hear why. Here's a little story that is told in Woodbatch. This is one of the premier trainings that goes on for us adults. Definitely need to do Woodbatch, and you'll hear this story again. But for today, let's go ahead and dive into it. There's a legend about a chapel that was constructed in the 1300s. The roof was supported by huge beams fashioned from old growth oak. 700 years passed. The beams had deteriorated and the roof was damaged and in danger of collapsing. The building required renovation and the ceiling beams needed to be replaced. Where could they find great oak trees like those that had been used by the original builders? The answer laid right outside the chapel door. The original builders of the chapel anticipated at some point the structure would need new oak beams. So they planted acorns around the chapel grounds. Several hundred years later, these acorns had matured into trees that could be used to make the repairs. What is your vision of the future? What acorns are you planting? As scout leaders, we plant acorns. Keep up the hard work and I will see you on the trail.